sangue se mistura há pouco, aleluia. Azam Alam. Azam a plan Alam de Coralá. He has a good plan because it's not the norm that we should meet in this place. Maybe in my thoughts and your thoughts. We may have thought it's just normal. That is the thought of man. But there are others, beloved, that have not arrived like you have. God is makes things happen. And when it, make, it makes things happen, it's for people to testify. We have not come to make up numbers. We haven't come to just for a walk and then return. We have come to meet the will of God. For people to see in your way that God is alive. Your presence should glorify the Lord. You may be seated in Jesus' name. God bless you. I am going to the program of the day. I would like to tell the people of God that Friday coming we will meet here in this place at 10 p.m. Because on that Friday, it is the Friday that we will receive the advocates of advocates. All those that have problems and does not find a solution. And in the one that we will receive on Friday, his does not miss. Does not miss. He is the God who provides answers to our questions. That is why you must not miss out. I know that we really love our beds. But we are only here for five hours. Afterwards, you can return to your bed. It will be a blessing for you and I. Every time you run behind man, but today you and I have received the opportunity to go to God. So we must embrace this. We neglect the word of God. The Bible shows us on the final day on the final day as Jesus went through Jericho to go to Jerusalem, I don't know if those brothers knew that he will not no longer return. Beloved, others went up a tree. Others who did not normally cry, cried. There's others that risk their lives to meet Jesus. But you and I want them ready to eat, the ones that are ready. You are certain you, they bring you your food that is ready and then you do You do not want to put to, to make an effort. Something that requires a little bit of fighting, you do not want. Like. You want something easy. Deco. Beloved. You cannot take something from the hands of uh, the enemy with all facility or ease. Even your husband or your wife. 
to give you what you want. You must talk the talk that will um, that will sweeten him. That will yes. What did you say? I tell you, get my number. Just forgive her. She's put her trust in me. Deco. We love it. If we don't come and come all you, we must get to a place. To know exactly what we want. Do we want to be the way that we are? We usually are. Or do we want an upper level? If you want an upper level, you must know how to pay the price. That is why I now encourage you again that we meet here on Friday. If you have a, a friend, if you have a visitor, you can also bring them here. God will visit us. Let God bless us. So we will go into our, uh, the words. Beloved, the Bible says If God has not built, the one who is building is building uh, empty. And if he does not look after, the one who is looking after is looking after for no reason. The one that builds in the life of man is God. The one that protects in the life of man is God. So it is good that you and I, that when we are looking to build, to look unto God. When we, are, when we are looking to hide in a place to protect ourselves, we must look unto God. The main thing of the day, let us go Pharaoh. Let us go Pharaoh. Let us go, Pharaoh. This word is a maroba, a robaki, Nabana Israel, Nazela Moise Oyo, a Pesamaki Mukumawana, Yapobi Sabago. Were the words that were said by the children of Israel. Uh, when Moses was given the loan to take the responsibility to take them out. So he went to Pharaoh and told Pharaoh allow Israel to go on to bow down to their God. Those were the words that God had given him. And that is what has been prepared for you and I this afternoon. Beloved, if, you, if we hear these words, I believe and trust that we will not leave in the same way that we entered. Because God has not changed. He is the one that was, is, and will remain forever and ever. If he did it for our grandparents, he will also do for us. 
So there's one thing that we must know is in the life of every person there are certain things that we must not do. It is not everything that you must accept. Because we are children of God, when we are saying, let us go, Pharaoh, Pharaoh today represents the world. So that is why, beloved, it's difficult if you are in the world to please God. In order for you to please God, you must separate yourself from the world. You must leave that that, that is of the world. Israel is also we all know Israel. It is um, what God had chosen before they were even born. They were in God's promise. God knew where he had got them or get, where he was getting them and where he was taking them. Everything was prepared. And throughout the, their life's journey, the way that God had drawn it, there were different um, things that they were going to pass through. When they were born, through the man of God, Jacob, they followed Joseph to Egypt. Before arriving to, in Egypt, they had their own way in which they walked with God. People who knew God. When they went to Egypt, and there they met, they found a different way that they did not know of. They learned it, and they received it, accepted it. They were happy with it. So they bought what they had. And what they had found, both they took together. And was that God's will? No, beloved. That is why I am asking that this afternoon, you and I, to know how to take the right decision. Leave all that we found in Egypt um, under Pharaoh's um, reign. And to look onto what God had prepared for us. And if we do so, it will be a blessing for us this afternoon. Beloved, God is not happy with your suffering or pain or mine. <coughs> God's will is that that you um, leave uh, evil. leave all evil. So to separate yourself from evil. And 
Because if you do not leave what is evil, Today you may see that that bad is serving you or that evil. That is giving you some sort of pleasure. But know that tomorrow it will become an obstacle. It will become an obstacle. Something that you will not be able to remove. And at that time it will be difficult for you. So that is why it is good. That in this time that God has given you and I the opportunity to know to leave that. To and then it will be good. And our tomorrow will be beautiful. Como homem na missala olha para os filhos da minha mulher faraó. To dwell in the works that we have taken from Pharaoh. Nego, é só passar. Because it is difficult. Só no tempo da mulher de Exo. If you read in the book, the book of Exodus, you will see the life that the children of Israel lived or carried. Beloved, there was always excuse after excuse. They were people that, um, in all problems, they were always searching for the person to blame. Beloved. All of that came because they had forgotten God. If they were with God, all of that would not have been there. But because of uh, rejecting God or get, turning your back on God, that is why their lives were up and down. Always excuse after excuse. Something they know I complain for a mile. And if today they complain about water, tomorrow they will complain about coffee. If that day they complain about coffee, the next day they will complain about mosquitoes. In Egypt we were good, we slept well. But here outside, Mosquitoes are making Always excuse after excuse. All of that. Because they uh, left God's side. They mixed. They found the shortcuts. The one that they found in Egypt. They took it amongst them. They took I, I the, the ones that the Egyptians were worshipping. But problem the Egyptians. The Egyptians' problem. They took onto themselves. And they forgot what God had said unto them. It is the same as you and I. Beloved, we will read in the Bible the book of Exodus, chapter 3, verse 8 to 12. Je suis descendu pour délivrer de la main des Égyptiens et pour faire, pour le faire monter dans ce pays, dans un bon pays et vaste. Dans un pays qui coule le lait et le miel, dans les lieux qui habitent les Canadiens et les Étiens, les Amoréens, les Phéniciens, les Zéphiens, 
les Jérusiens. Voici, les cris d'Israël sont venus jusqu'à moi. Et je vis l'oppression que les font souffrir les Égyptiens. Maintenant, va, je t'enverrai auprès des pharaons et tu feras sortir d'Égypte mon peuple, les enfants d'Israël. And I have come down to deliver them out, out of the land of the Egyptians and to bring them up out of the land of good and broad land, a land flowing with milk and honey, to the place of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Amorites, the Perizzites, the Hevites, and the Jebusites. And now, behold, the cry of the people of Israel has come to me, and I have also seen the oppression with which the Egyptians oppressed them. Come and I will send you to the Pharaoh that you may bring my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. Now, Exodus 9, and in Exodus 9, verse 1, <coughs> and uh, verse 1 says, L'Éternel dit à Moïse, Then the Lord said to Moses, Va faire Pharaon, Go into Pharaoh, Tu lui diras, And say to him, ainsi parle l'Éternel, le Dieu des Hébreux. Thus says the Lord, the God of the Hebrews. Laisse aller mon peuple. Let my people go. Afin qu'ils me servent. That they may serve me. Nego. Beloved. Awa nzambe aeba kina koroba no Moïse. Here, God knew to speak to Moses. Eka kende na Egypte e pa na Pharao. To go to Egypt to Pharaoh. To leave the children of Israel. He had prepared a place for them. He said that it was time for them to go into that place and stay. I felt their pain. Beloved. Here God is talking to Moses. God is confirming the, confirming the suffering of the children of Israel. And he said the time has come for them to live well. In chapter 9, as they left, It was not for them to do whatever they wanted to do. It was for them to serve God. Beloved. The reason God The reason God made you in the place that you were. He visited you where you were. It was not for you to be a picture, an image in this place. And that when everyone enters, they look at you. No, beloved. God said, Get them out. In order for them to serve me. So the goal was, If God calls you and I, and send the pastor Joseph to come to you and I, there is a reason. There is a reason. He took out Israel to serve him. These people that he had put aside. Through these people, the world will know that I am God. In, in, in the, the, through these people, those who are lost will come and bow down before me. Beloved, there was a goal. We are not just um, all accidents, thank you, um, before God. But oh, it's not by, by accident. God knows. 
God knows we have it. If you read the words, in Exodus 3, God told Moses, He said, The lands that you will take my people. In, in that land is where milk is, any, is anything. Just bring your bread. You put on some honey to, to eat the bread with and milk to have it with. It is not something that you will search for. Meaning, that land has many riches. And in that land, there were people. It was not an empty land. It was not for you to just come and build a house. There were people. But those people God had rejected. God gave it to the children of Israel. Till this day they are in that place. So the Israelites are people who have more money than all in the world. They are people that God blessed since that time. And no one can change it. There is only a small number of them. But if you are dreaming to fight them, the advice that I will give you is wake up. Go and wash your face. Because that dream is taking you to a bad direction. It will end badly for you. <coughs> Beloved, it is because they are held by God. It is good for you and I to reject that all that is of the world and all the things that come with it. If we want to see the hand of God, we must know how to separate ourselves from all bad. And if you separate from bad or evil, God will give us intelligence and strength. And he will be with us. Because he has seen within us um, of obedience. Beloved, to remain in bad, for the person who dwells, remains or dwells in bad, what they will find within them, is what Nigerians call abomination. Something that man mustn't do, you will see that they are doing. And they will say, is that a person? It is a, a, the answer for a person who is in the world. In looking at the world today, and what is happening today, you and I will ask ourselves, we will ask ourselves, where are we going? It is the answer that says that this person has already gone deep. 
Masumu wamba tukazalani kwa mwana It is impossible for people to see as The sins that people would see as impossible for people to do Le long batu est comme facilité Today has become very easy Batu na kosala yango It's easy for people to do Tosa hiko taka na bibli ya kata We will read it in the Bible Ba oteli ya diable The, uh, the devil's altars. But today, wherever you go past, you will see. It is not something to hide. In the olden days, in the places that we've come from, we all knew that if you passed before a Catholic church, you will see that the doors are open and people sat in there. Same in the protest, uh, protestant churches. Other churches. And back today, The houses that we were saying, or the places we were saying are uh, witchcraft, place of witchcraft, but are no longer hidden. They are in open air to people. And they are telling you that this is how we are. It is up to you to choose. Beloveds, there's pain that has come. So when you and I have um, remained in the works of Pharaoh or the world, there are things that could come to us. And after time, because of time, we will only take five. And we've seen in the book of Exodus, It will be crying. 
Because the one that protects is God. The one that builds is God. Because, and because you are not building with God, just know that you, you have opened the doors for um, suffering. So we have seen in Exodus 9 verse 18, that um, hail fell, came down. Because it brought destruction. Loss um, entered the lives of people. Those are are signs that come when you turn your back up to God. So we saw that God sent grasshoppers. Neko. Beloved. If you ask those that lived, the, the way what grasshoppers do, our pray on Friday will be that they do not pass by us. Because through their way they do not leave anything. They destroy everything. They um they put, uh, bring famine. They bring fam famine and suffering. So that is why it is not a good example for us to follow. Something that can open doors for evil to come amongst us. We saw that darkness came. Beloved. When darkness entered the life of, of man, Know that you will no longer have a vision. You will lose your vision. So man cannot do anything in darkness. They cannot go anywhere. If they are just a person who they cannot go forward. Because it is dark. So darkness come, comes when someone is not with God. That is why, beloved, it mustn't be a, a, a way for us to follow. Because if we follow that uh, example, it will be very difficult for us. We saw that every first child died. We all know believe, uh, benefits of the first child. That is why we love it. Wana Ezaraki Bilembo Oyo. So those who are benefits, that if someone turns their back on God, signs, sorry, that is what follows. Um, there are many. But because of time, we will end there. So our question is, we've heard that. So to stop ourselves from getting there, what must we do? Beloved, the first thing is for you and I to see yourself as oh, humble yourself. 
to accept or believe. It's not so so. There are many people. We saw that Peter said to Jesus. He said we have surrendered all. Beloved, you will see uh, in the Bible. There are different categories where the God speaks. And to say that we have surrendered all. Speaks volumes, beloved. What Paul oh. had said. All that was a bless uh, all that was beneficial for me. But for Christ. I have turned my back on that. I refuse it. Beloved, if you begin to develop that place, you will understand what the men of God were saying. But for Christ, they knew to refuse those because they had faith. They knew that Peter said or spoke. And Jesus said, but you were many. Many left. There is now a small number of you. Why have you remained? Why did you not follow them? Peter said, where will we go? Where you are telling us to go, we have been. We know those places. But what we have seen in you is different to what we saw there. That's why we have accepted to be with you. Beloved. What did, was Peter saying? In the person who has not yet had a sip of beer, and the first time that they will try, when they start to feel a little bit like headed and laugh in laughter and that person on that day will seem as uh, uh, like someone who has won the lottery but the consequences come after Um, if we are talking on faith, we are talking. If we are talking, if God shows you something or speaks to you, it is not just today um, at the same time that those things will, will be accomplished. It could be today. It could be tomorrow. It could be the day after. But the thing that we must know is that because we have accepted to remove ourselves from that place and come to God, we must look unto Him. Unto God. Where is He taking us? We saw that God said to Moses, if you read in Exodus, chapter 7, he began to 
uh, got to the level where he took his godliness and gave it to Moses. But in observing, not everything was accomplished in one day. He took ten trips to the um, to Pharaoh's house to take out Israel. We saw Elijah and his servant for, for it to rain. So his servant took seven trips up and down to see um, that it would be able to go to rain. If God speaks, we must believe. When, if he speaks, you just sit down and look unto him. It will accomplish. As you are alive, it will accomplish. Because he is God. He is not a son of man. He cannot begin to start to lie today because of you and I. Beloved, let's remove fear. If we want to see God's touch, we must remove fear. Fear it is the enemy of faith or belief. There are many that miss out on their blessings because of fear. Many got married or uh, got married to those who they weren't supposed to marry because of fear. And many also uh, took on jobs that they weren't meant to do because of fear. Fear is the enemy of belief. That is why we must remove fear. Saul. Saul. Samuel told him do not uh, burn a uh, do not uh, burn an offering and await I will come to do it beloved Saul because he was afraid he took God's words and put it aside. He said, God, you are taking too long. You always take too long. Your things are always slow. Let me do it my way. Beloved, the Bible says, just when he put on the see, see, spices, he tries the salt and he placed it on the butt. He put the um, fire just as the fire burned. The man of God appeared. Beloved. I was I'm looking on to the day that day when Saul was there. The, the person who poured water before their in-law is good. He was he had, he was tired. Samuel asked him, what have you done? Why have you got to this level? Beloved, he was scared. 
We must remove fear. I always say, remove your eyes from the clock. Remove your eyes from the calendar. The calendar is good. A clock or watch is good. But it can make you ill. In looking at the clock, you will curse God. In looking at the calendar, you will um, gossip about God to your neighbor. What God has said, because he said it, it will accomplish. Let's remove fear. Let's be those who, in place of fear, know to confess the words and meditate the words. Let's be obedient in the words. If we know how to uh, abide by obeying the, the word of God, beloved, what God has prepared for you and I will accomplish. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah 1 verse 19. Si vous avez de la bonne volonté, et si vous êtes docile, vous mangerez la meilleure production du pays. If you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the goods of the land. Let us be obedient. We must know that we are of God. Before any situations that will arise, whether good or bad, beloved, you, let's remember that we are of God. If we know that, we will not um, the Bible says in Exodus 7, 1, And the Lord said to Moses, See, I have made you like God to Pharaoh, And your brother Aaron shall be your prophet. He said, I have made you like God to Pharaoh. But if you go down, you will see, although God has said, but Moses came across situations. But because he knew he was God, he was not looking at the situation. He was looking at what God had placed within him. It is a blessing for me. Uh, uh, to finish off. To finish off. We are uh, those that uh, to get a, a, a response to a problem or an answer. We are not those that must uh, run away from problems. But we are those who must give the answer to problems. That is why it is 
for us to change our ways. The one who provides the solution. Their words are different to the one who has a problem. If you are there to give a solution, the first thing that you start with is make the one with a problem cry. The Bible says we must cry with those who are crying, but you come to make them cry, then you will not have a solution because you are the solution. You must bring the solution. Whatever the problem, you must give what God has asked you to give. We are the chosen people. Because God has chosen us, we must um, attach ourselves to these promises. It is not a promise of man. It is a promise of God. If you read the Bible, when God sent these apostles, he did not tell them to go and dance. And look how lovely the world is. No, he did not say that. He said, go and, go and preach the good word. Take them from bad and bring them to good. Make them ours. That is the mission he had given them. It is our uh, work. It will be a blessing if we do that. what is the, uh, the word of God. And it will be a good example. People will see that it's true. We have, we have come away from there and are now here. So may the God of heavens the one who has allowed us to gather in this place to bless you and I for the time that we have given this afternoon. Amen. 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 If we really enjoyed the word of God, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Not to see you anymore. Our God is good. He loves us so. The Bible says that when we were sinners, when we did not yet know, when we did not yet know how to speak the word of God, when I was blessed, blasphemy, uh, uh, in God's name, God, uh, Christ died for us. He, we did not know yet. Il ne me connaissait oh, pas. Mais il a accepté la mort en deux secondes. Il a accepté de mourir pour toi et moi. L'Éternel nous aime. The, the Lord loves us. Il nous corrige avec amour. He corrects us with love. Nous devons quitter l'Égypte. We must leave Egypt. Nous devons abandonner le mal. We must abandon bad. Car en lui il n'y a pas de mal. Because in him there is no bad. Il est tellement saint. He is so holy. Il aime les pécheurs. That he likes the sinners. Mais il n'aime pas le péché. But he does not like sin. Alors si nous devons venir à Jésus à Christ. So if we must come to Jesus Christ. Accompagné de nos péchés. Accompanied by our sins. C'est ce que nous allons vivre comme exemple. C'est ce que le papa Pierre nous a dit. That is what we will lead, lead, uh, lead as example as uh, Elder Pierre has told us. Il nous a parlé des sujets. He has spoken to us of the boys. Ça c'est la maladie. That is sickness. Ça c'est pas notre portion. That is not our portion. Nous devons pas être malades. We must not be sick. Il a parlé de sauterelles. He spoke about grasshoppers. Ce qui amène la famine. That brings famine. C'est 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 pas notre portion. It is not our portion. Notre Dieu s'est fait pauvre. Our God 
became um, poor. Pour que nous enrichissions. For us to become rich. Donc de vous quitter l'Égypte. So we must leave Egypt. Si nous n'avons rien retenu de tout ce qu'il a dit. If we have not taken anything from what he has said. Mais la meilleure des choses de, de, de retenir est que nous devons quitter l'Égypte. The one thing to take would be that we must leave Egypt. Qui représente le monde. That represents the world. D'ailleurs, il y a une écriture dans la Bible qui nous dit ceci. There's a scripture in the Bible that tells us que nous sommes dans ce monde. That we are in this world. Mais nous sommes pas de ce monde. But not of this world. Nous sommes des pèlerins. We are uh, tra travelers. Nous sommes des passagers. We are passengers. Un jour, one day, nous rendons compte à notre Seigneur. We will give our Lord. Thank you for your prayer. Thank you. Alleluia. Amen. Nous sommes arrivés euh, au moment où nous donnons à notre Seigneur. So we have reached the time when we give to our Lord. Le temps des offrandes. The time of offering. Ma Bible me dit 